How do you change the max order quantity on your Amazon Seller Central account? I'll talk to you about that today. This is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. So to get to this screen where the max order quantity is, you go to your Seller Central inventory, manage inventory location, and then pick any product that you're concerned about. And I'll talk today about why you'd might want to set a max order quantity and simply hit edit. This will bring up the offer page by default. Scroll to the bottom and on most category, most items, the max order quantity will show up right here. If you do not see this on your account, go check the more details section. Sometimes on other uh, categories, it's stuck in the more details instead of the offer page. Um, so max order quantity, what this does is it prevents the uh, customer from ordering any quantity above the max order quantity threshold. So if you wanted to limit a customer to ordering four of any item, you'd simply type in four. That means that they cannot order five, they cannot order six or more, they can only order four. And you could set this as low as one even. Uh, so the reason why somebody might want to set a max order quantity and uh, is because typically when you run a steep discount or promotion, um, especially if you're using a tool uh, such as Viral Launch or Helium 10 or Jumpstart or, or, or a promotional tool where you're giving product away at a steep discount, it's not beneficial to you as the seller to give more than one product per customer. All of the benefits come from that one individual sale. Um, and so you may want to limit the max order quantity because of that. And you get all the main benefit from that one customer coming in. Hopefully they leave a review. Many won't, but you're basically uh, training the algorithm to generate sales. That's why you generally have um, a promotion in the first two weeks, first 30 days of a new item launching on Amazon. And if you don't set a max order quantity, what can happen is that somebody who's got that discount, say 50% off, 80% off, whatever you set the threshold at, they could come in and take your entire category um, of inventory. So you want to prevent that. This is a safety precaution tip to prevent somebody from taking your entire catalog. Now, if you're selling a regular item and you have no promotions whatsoever um, going, there's no purpose to setting a max order quantity. For example, maybe I want somebody to come in and order 20 of these because they're giving them out as white elephant gifts. Or maybe uh, because patience is being given away for a nurse graduation ceremony. If I have a max order quantity set to four, I'm going to miss out on those big sales. And they don't come very often, but every so often you might have that big whale customer. Um, and by whale, I mean they order a lot. Uh, they can come in and order 20, 30, 40 quantity. And if you see that frequently, if that's a very common occurrence, then you should be adding a different ASIN for max order quantity um, of a much larger order. And then that way the consumer can make a larger purchase. You can give them a bigger price break and it will cost you less money to ship it if there's uh, a larger quantity intact. So this is a way to increase your average order value um, as well. So that's my tip today on setting the max order quantity. Hopefully this was helpful. If you need any Amazon consulting, please go over to myamazonguy.com and contact us. And if you have any question about something to do on Seller Central, you've, you've run into a problem, you don't understand how do I do this in Amazon, leave a comment on this video and request uh, a video on it. We will shoot one on it. There are literally almost 200 videos on my channel where we answer questions that almost nobody else does and we're happy to give tutorials on it. My name is Stephen Pope. I am the founder of my Amazon guy.